Hello. Today, now we're going to be going over how to create a basic gradient background for a website. We're going to use this background to uh, be the uh, the uh, background in our CSS sheet for our website that we're building. Now, we're using Fireworks CS3. You're going to go ahead and create a new document, create a new PNG. Uh, 660 by 760 is fine and of course the pixels per square inch I'm gonna turn that up a notch to 96 so it looks nicer okay now we went ahead and recreated that we're gonna immediately save as and um, we're going to come into our folder we're gonna go to our desktop find our practice folder click on that go into the images folder and now we're gonna save it as background underscore grad now we already have one that was made we're gonna just save right over that for the sake of this tutorial and we're gonna save yes we do now I'm gonna come over here into the vector section of our little work panel here I'm gonna create a rectangle use that and just draw it in there and then you can come down here and edit it now the width of course we set at 660 and the height is 760 and of course the X and Y coordinates left top and uh, left is 0 we're gonna set them to 0 which completely perfectly centers the item so now we have our background here um, now we're going to turn this into a gradient. To do that, very simple. Click on the rectangle. Go down here to this section. It says solid right there. Click on that. And when you go there, it's going to say, somehow I got changed to none. Come right over here to gradient, linear. Click on that. And you'll see this cute little guy come up here. Uh, this line is basically the gradients that are involved in the coloring. You can move that up and you change it and move it down to stretch it back out edit the colors come right over here to this little guy right there click on that and you'll see two extremes you see the black on one side and the white in the middle or white on the other side and basically what it does is it transitions from black and fades to white by, um, you can add a new one simply by clicking add a new one just click right there and you'll add a new one appears the opacity or the see-throughness of the item you can mess with that as well but we're just gonna go ahead and change the color here from uh, black to let's change it to uh, let's go with yellow Is yellow okay yeah yellow's not bad and if you wanna get rid of these just click on it and drag it off click and drag it off click and drag it off okay to move this up manually, you just do this. You can move it like that, and that'll move it up while you're in there, and you can play with the colors. Okay. You're done in there. You can just go ahead and click the enter button, and voila. We got a nice little gradient here for our web page, but we're not done. We're going to have to use the crop tool now to make it so that we don't upload this huge graphing onto our site. Click crop right there. And we're going to go up here to uh, the top of the item, the bottom. And we're just going to grab a little sliver of it, like maybe just like 10 pixels at the most. Click the enter button. Makes our graphics super thin. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the um, CSS to turn this into a complete background. So now we have that, and we're going to go ahead to file and save. And now this file is on our in our practice folder just to show you in our images folder and there it is voila so in our next tutorial we're going to go ahead and use css to turn this into a background for our web page that we're building congratulations thanks for viewing